Hey guys, what's up? So right now, today I'm going to take a look a preview of the new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom series. Now, as the time of the recording, if this video get deleted, um, I do want to say Hasbro, please don't yell at me. I just want to take a look at preview of this for everyone. Just please don't yell at me and sue me, okay? I am not in even a good mood right now. So yeah. Anyways, at the time of the recording, this video is not made for kids, it's for adults and teenage collectors. So that means if you guys are under age, you're 13 or younger, get out. So today, like I said, we're going to take a look at the preview of the new Transformers Earthrise series. So here, oops, yeah. So here it is, the new, I mean a Kingdom figure, sorry, not Earthrise. So here it is, the new Kingdom figures. What great about this, they having, they bring in the G1 mixed with the Beast Wars figures together you can see optimus prime which he's short you got optimus primal cheetor warpath we got the beast war version of megatron psychonis is back in action and i don't know who this guy is but let's check it out and black arachnia so first things first we're going to start off with the smallest figure all the way to the biggest so i was going to start off by one of the figures which is if i can find it um let's see where okay. oh there it is so here it is core class rap trap yes the rat is back that was a terrible quote what i said god damn it i just hate myself already anyways here it is rat trap what he looks like um Oh crap, hold on guys, I'll be right back. There's something wrong and there's something I think my package already hand is already here. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. No my headphones. Okay, I was wrong. My package did not came. I ordered some more Bionicle parts. I, I'm I'm sorry, you guys. It just was my cat. I'm being a pouty. My cat's always being pouty. Anyways, I apologize for that, guys. So here it is, Core Cloud Rat Trap. Now, thank the sculpting and detail of this figure, and his beast mode and the robot mode looks pretty good. Now, let's take a look at the beast mode first on Rat Trap. So if I can find a photo of him... If I'm lucky enough to find a photo, like separate photos of them, of him, yeah. Oh, okay. This is, I guess this is the only one I can find. Okay, right, we're gonna start off by his beast mode. Beast mode is representing a realistic rack, of course. Now, if you guys wanna like actually wanna custom rat trap to give him like you know his fur to give him like like his, you can see the 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 plastic on him on the detail on the fur. Now my boss told me you can flock the um, the figures. First you have to paint it first, then you have to like put a little bit of something, I don't know what it is, then you can, and you touch it, it feel like it's actually like a real fur. That's why my boss told me about it. Beast mode looks okay. My only major complaint about this, if you flip it over, you can see the uh, undercarriage of the robot mode. Now there's some people who reviewed the kingdom uh, figures early, I don't know who, but I think Prime vs. Prime did it. I think he did, and I think someone else is dead as well. Looking over to the robot mode on Rat Trap, robot mode looks pretty good. I want to, it's perfect. Minus, there's some gaps over here on the chin legs and the arms and the bottom, the forearms right there. Yes, kind of my least favorite. But not only that, I, I wish you could give us some more paint to him in the robot mode. Just give us like a Beast Wars, but modern year. Just like Beast Wars today, like I'm doing for the um, my figures as well. The game like Generation 1 of today. But well, Robot Mode looks pretty good. Unfortunately, the arms will not going to be go 360 degrees because of the Beast Kibble right here. Yes, Rat Chop is like a, it's kind of like a Shell Former. If you guys don't know what a Shell Former is, Shell Former um, is like a Transformers Transform out of their shell, but they do not come out of their shell. So yeah, so this is going to be a problem for it. Next up to another core class figure, we have Optimus Prime. Yes, Optimus Prime is now 
shrink down into a core quest. So I don't know if core quest is going to be replaced by the new Micromaster or Battlemaster. But if if we're not going to have more Micromaster and Battlemaster, I will be disappointed of it. But here it is, Optimus Prime, what he looks like, of course. Let's show a photo of it, if I can find the goddamn photo. Oh, there it is. There's two photos. So here it is, Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode. Of course, his vehicle mode is representing his truck, his cab mode, without the trailer. Uh, I haven't got none of the Optimus Prime yet for the Siege or Earthrise series because they are very expensive. And plus, um, I'm trying to save money to go to the Gulf Coast Toy Show. You know, just looking by Optimus Prime vehicle mode, this is a pretty good one. I wish the tires, the tire rims right there, all, all of them were painted silver. And over here and then the top right there will be painted silver as well. And plus, I wish to do, I would, I would do want to give it like, you know, some more painting to it. To give it like, like I said, a modern G1 look. Looking over the Rowan mode, uh, it's fine, I guess. Mine is the backpack kibble right there on the truck mode. Can get in the way of it, so yeah, that's one of the major issues. The only accessory he comes with is the Ion Blaster, of course, and also compared to the Earthrise version, here it is, the Leader Class version. You see, Father, Son, Senior, Junior. Get it? No? Okay, I, I think I should, I, I literally hate myself. <laughs> why, why, why am I even so alive? I, I don't understand. But compared to these two, yeah, I think most people is going to be very disappointed that Optimus Prime just shrink down. But this is the easiest way to get Optimus Prime. If you can't, if you don't have enough money for it. Hell, I don't have enough money to get the Leader Class version of Optimus Prime. But god damn, I do want to get it and custom painted it. But it looks pretty good. Alright, we're already finishing looking over the two um, Core Class figures. Now we could get it on with the Deluxe, um, the deluxe Class figures. We're going to start off by uh, one of the Autobots first, of course. Here it is, Deluxe Class Warpath. Yes, Warpath is back in action, better than ever, and this guy is pretty cool. So here what he looks like in his vehicle in his robot mode, and let's find the photo of him. Now for Warpath, um, he's pretty okay, minus he just needs some more paint. So looking over Warpath is vehicle mode, his vehicle mode is representing a tank, which by looking at it, this is a pretty good robot mode. I mean vehicle mode. My only major complaint about the vehicle mode is the treads are not painted black. I I, I understand why they did that, because you know, G1 reference of it, but I want to give some of the Transformer figures, give them like a modern realistic look of it. Like the treads should need to be painted white. And the rest of these over here need to be painted silver or gunmetal gray, I don't know. But the rest of the vehicle mode on this over here looks good, but I wish you could give us some more paint to it. I understand the color scheme of him is white. I think it's like a maroon color right here, so I will probably give him some, some little bit of more color white on him. And probably looking over the lines, I'll probably give him like some... Um, the Apple Barrel brand color, which is the blue one. To give him more like he's half energy on... Over here, we're looking over the robot mode. The robot mode looks pretty good. Minus, you can see some gaps over here in the treads right there. I know. I think there's gonna be. I don't know if the people is gonna make upgrade kits for some of the Earth Kingdom figures, but if we can find a way to cover this piece right here, the legs and probably some of the arms, I'll, I'll be happy for it. But looking over the robot mode is pretty good. Nice head sculpt, by the way. But I wish they could give us some more paint to it. Um, the eyes should be painted blue right there, so I think I have the paint for it, so yeah. Um, it's kind of cool, I think they have to push back the tr the tank, the, the nose tank right there, or it's removable, I have no idea. I don't know, he's gonna have some accessories for him, so that pretty much that's it. Are there any Decepticons, um, for this? No, it's okay then. Next we have is Deluxe Class Cheetor. Yes, Cheetor is back. Now, if you guys are a big fan of Cheetor and do love Beast Wars, I do recommend that you have this if this figure gets released. But here it is, uh, Cheetor, what he looks like. Now, I've seen Prime vs. Prime review, and this piece right here, when you transform it, um, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but this piece will probably crack, will break, if you use enough force. 
If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just go to Prime Review. Prime Review. Yeah, you'll soon. You're you already soon. We'll figure it out. That's uh, wrong photo. I'll show you that later. Where is the photo with Cheetor? Because I need that boy. Where is actually? I can't find the photo of Cheetor. This is not cool, man. This is like totally BS right now. I think I might skip it by accident. Okay, I, I really can't find Cheetor. Yeah, I actually can't find his um photos of him. So yeah, but yeah, well, you know what? Let's use this for now. So here it is, Cheetor and his robot and his beast mode. Of course, the beast mode is representing a cheetah. You know, looking at this figure, this is a pretty good one. Minus the back legs, you can see the robot chins right there. Yeah, that's one of the main main issues. The only accessory he comes with is, of course, his tail axe. I think that's a called tail axe, or it could be something else. It plugs in over here to the cheetah. Just by looking at this, it's pretty cool. Now, when I saw the video of it, the eyes are not... It doesn't have the pupils of the eyes, which is kind of a creepy for me. But Cheetor, it looks pretty good. And Robot Mode, this looks much better, but my only... But it's gonna be difficult for me to figure it out which paint need to go. I understand that Cheetah Cheetor's a uh, color scheme like this, so I'll probably could find like this shade right there. And probably use the energy on blue like for the Autobots. So of course the yeah, of course the Maximals are are like like you know cousins to the Autobots or something. I actually don't know. Okay, I I only have seen some clips of, of Beast War. I haven't seen the you know the the whole episode of it, so if anyone's gonna ask, so yeah. And speaking of which, looking over more of the robot mode of Cheetor, it looks pretty good. One of the issues with Cheetor probably will be the arms articulation. This piece right here will be will probably will get in the way right here. Like I said, some of the Beast War figure will be shell formers, so yeah. But just by looking at the detail of his weapon, I wish it could give us some more paint to it. In my opinion, so yeah. Next up we have Black Arachnia. Yes, Black Arachnia is back, and in a look, beautiful feminine look. Now, if you guys are afraid of spiders, if you have like arachnophobia, if you do afraid, if you do scared of spiders, um, yeah, I will not recommend to have this if you're scared of them. But if you guys are not scared of spiders, good. But here it is, what she looks like. Hopefully, we get silver board, uh, silver bolts from the Fusor series. Hopefully, we could get that. So where's the photo for Black Arachnia? Oh, uh, there it is. So here it is Black Arachnia and her, and her beast mode. Her beast mode, of course, representing a Black Widow spider. Just by looking at this, this is a pretty good spider mode. Unfortunately, the robot kibble you see right there is showing, so that's not that pretty much of it. What the masterpiece version of it, of uh, Black Arachnia, yeah, over here that will be. I think it's gonna be the arms or legs. But just by looking at the detail of her, it looks pretty good. But I wish they could give us some more paint to it in her beast mode. I think we'll, probably one of the other issues is probably the ball joints right there. The small ball joint will probably pop off way too easily. Yeah, that's one of the major issues complaint of the beast mode. But in her robot mode, damn, this is a pretty good robot mode. I, But like I said, I wish they could give us some more paint to it. I know her color scheme is black with some... A little bit of bronze, a little bit like a mustard yellow or like a goldish yellowish color. I could probably give put a little bit of this bronze color right here somewhere in the head, somewhere in the chest, somewhere in the legs or chest area. If she does have the lines to so you know painted like you know purple on her, because of course the septicons, of course the predicons is like the cousins of septicons. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just pretty stupid. Probably one of the major complaints about it is her backpack, so she probably going to be top heavy of her. So if you guys do have some issue with, you know, balancing her on, on being top heavy, I don't know, the way her legs going to be on ball joints or something, but yeah. Her arms probably will go 360 degrees, but the spider legs could be in her, could be in a way. That pretty much has said about it, her beast mode, well, on Black Arachnia. But now we're going to get into the, end, the good part of it. We have another deluxe class figure named Paleo Trex. 
Now, Paleo Track is a new character. I think it's a new character. I may not sure, but it. But here it is. What this character looks like. When I saw this on YouTube, I swear to God, I want to get this figure. Now, like all the other figures, Paleo Paleo Track, and there's another one as, as well as the skeleton looking one, are weaponized as well. So let's find one of the actual photos of him. If I can find one. Oh, sorry about that. Now, if I can find... There's a photo of, of his comrade. But I can't find an actual photo of him. Okay, we'll, we'll use the photo for now. So, Paleotrax is... Uh, his beast mode representing like a... I think it's like a T-Rex. Because, of course... T-Rex. Paleotrex, of course. His beast mode is representing a skeletal T-Rex, which I want to say, cool, scary looking, and plus you could probably scare the living crap out of anyone. My only major big complaint about it is I wish you could give us some more painting on the on the beast mode. But not only that, well, you can see there's some gaps right here, which is will be the you know the the robot chest area right here because you can see right here. This will be the robot's arms and all. Yeah, Pale of Tracks is, I think it's going to be one of my favorite figures for the Rep Weaponizer series as well. But here it is what he looks like in his robot mode. Robot mode is a pretty good looking one. Scary. Terrifying. You could scare the living crap out of anyone. Even your own loved ones. Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, don't scare your loved ones or he or she will beat the living shit out of you. Trust, <laughs> trust me. Don't do that. But no, seriously. The robot mode, it looks pretty good. Now, I don't remember which uh, YouTuber reviewed this one. His head are up, th up there. You can flip this up. So, I think they're, like, representing, bringing them back, like, the mutant head or something. But the head scope on this one is one of the most scariest looking ever. Even if you use it like, a jump scare of, like, uh, because how much is jump scared? Hell. You're pretty stupid enough to do that. But here it is. More photos. See? See right there. His head right there. Very terrifying. Now, like I said, Payload Tracks is also a weaponizer, so you could take this apart and you could plug in right here. He is a Predacon, but there's, I don't know, Black Arachne will fit in, so I'll probably need to, probably need to find another, probably just gonna make another Predacon Deluxe Class figure for it. But here it is what he looks like, all weaponized with Warpath. Warpath right here. And it was funny they use his he using they using the head as a club as a weapon which is pretty cool. You see the axe right there, the T Rex head as a you know punching gimmick as well or something, and two extra arms. Next another the last class figure we're gonna we're gonna oh no this is a core class oh I thought it was another the last class okay so I think I skipped this one by accident. So the another core class figure we have is Vertebrae. Now, Vertebrake, of course, is a, is, I don't know, is a he or she, is she this one look like a she, but I don't know. But here it is, what it looks like. Um, the beast mode is representing a skeletal looking, um, I, I will say like a raptor, have like feathers on the head, or it could be Ron. If you guys do know, if you guys are, are good at, you know, dinosaurs, please, please leave a comment down below which type of dinosaur this one is. You know, paint this the detail on this one, it looks pretty good. I wish they could give us some more paint to it. You know, like, you know, sandy and dirt effects on this. Like, all the skeletal predacons. This is a pretty good one. Looking over the robot mode, on the other hand, this is a pretty good. You can see the head sculpt on this one is pretty good. The, the hands are nice sculpting. Even the legs right there, of course, which is the beast mode legs. This is a pretty good figure. I think this one will be probably going to have issues standing up because the tail is probably going to use it as a third leg. Uh, I don't know if there's more photo of this one. If I could find it. Let's see. I need to take a look. If I'm lucky enough to find another photo of um, Vertebrae. Yep, there it is. Yeah, yeah her tail is not going to be a third leg. I think her tail is going to be the accessory for it so yeah the beast mode right there looks pretty good and the robot mode looks pretty good i think the skeletal looking predacons will be one of my favorite ones of all i think i do recommend it if you want to make like an army of the undead 
Man, I, if they can make some more of these, I swear to God, I will, I will have the undead. I will have an army of undead skeleton transformers. Alright. Enough about the deluxe class figures. Now we're getting on to something bigger. The Vorger class. Here's the Vorger class Optimus Primal. Yes, he's back in action again. If you guys remember, Optimus Primal was 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 re was back during to the uh, you know the power power of the Prime series, but the you know the evolved version evolution. Sorry, but here it is what he looks like. I uh, so I could find a photo of him. If I'm up enough. So where is he? Where is the photo? There it is. So let's take a look at Optimus Primal in his beast mode. His beast mode, of course, representing a gorilla. Yo. Looking over this figure, this is one of the coolest beast mode ever. Mine is you can see some of the robot, um, some of the robot parts, which is the arms of Optimus Primal, the back piece of right there, and this right there. Yeah, there's gonna be an issue with this figure. I think the I think the gorilla mode looks pretty good. I like the head scope of him, but I wish they could paint the pupil. To give him more like realistic look. Yeah, overall the beast mode of Optimus Primal looks pretty good, but the the part of the robot um killed junk over here, like on the arms and somewhere in the back of the legs will, will probably get in the way. So yeah, that's gonna be the most uh, difficult about that. Looking over in his robot mode, this is so cool as hell. The only accessory he will be comes with if his double bladed sword, well not double bladed his two blades up there right there if you're looking at it and then this is a pretty good figure okay i want to take a look at this this side first his guns pop out like the original like the original figure of course even the guns pop out to the side i don't know the original figure has that no probably not because but the masterpiece version of this one does have to representing the more a cartoon look of the beast wars uh, uh series the, v the robot mode looks pretty good. I think the one issue with this will probably be lack of paint. You know, but the head sculpt, I'll probably give it like a little bit of more white, a little bit of more red, somewhere in the head to give it more like a modern look. And I wish the sword would be painted more. You know, probably like blue, red, and white right there. That pretty much that's it. You know, I think Optimus Prime is going to be the good figure ever. And plus, I think it's going to be one of the rarest one ever because it's... This class is pretty cool. Next, we're gonna take a look at another Voyager class figure, which is Psychonus. Yes, Psychonus is back, of course. If you guys remember, Psychonus was released during the Combined War series, and now he's back again in the Kingdom series. Just looking over at Psychonus, the color scheme of this guy it looks pretty good. I love this a lot. Now let's take a look over on the on the photos if I can find it. I think I can find yeah, there it is. So Psychonus. Of course, he was shown in the, in the Transformers movie, the G1 version of it. And just by looking at this figure, this is a pretty good one. His, his jet mode is pretty good. Different shade of purple. I think this could be metallic, silver, with, with, with a lighter shade of purple. This is a pretty good vehicle mode. Even a pretty good color scheme with this guy. Like I said, major complaint about this figure. Lack of paint. The back thruster right there should be painted silver and I wish I could I wish I could give us a more a little bit of more metallic purple right here somewhere over there even in the wings right there and that pretty much I said even some the Decepticon purple if I give them to them give it to him Whoa. oh excuse me I just <laughs> uh, disgusting but the robot mode on the other hand is so OP F F AF. If you guys already know, understand what AF stands for. Good. If you guys don't know, you don't want to know. But the robot mode on this guy, this is a pretty badass looking robot mode. The only accessory he comes with is his gun. I don't know. If there's more photos of him on the robot mode. Probably they're not. I'll use the other one. Robot mode looks pretty good. I like this a lot. I forgot to mention one thing. One issue on the vehicle mode. And you can see the his fist showing back right there. One inch of this one, but but the robot looks looks so well on this. Even the even the given the head sculpt like in the movie, god damn, this is a a badass looking one. Like I said, major complaint about this, 
I wish they could give us some more more color stuff in. He does have a little bit of red right there, so I'll probably give us a little bit of red somewhere in the vehicle mode and same thing on the robot mode. But just by looking at this figure, this is a pretty good one. This is not going to be issues on the articulation, minus the wings could probably get in the way of it, you know, from possibility of it. So, yeah. Now, lastly but not least, we're going to take a look at the last figure, the leader class version. And we have here is T-Rex Megatron, or of course, Megatron Beast, Beast um, Wars version. Guys, this is going to be one of the most rarest Transformer figure ever. So here it is, T-Rex Megatron, what he looks like. Oh my god, this is a pretty good figure. Now let's take a look on his Beast Mode first, which I could find a photo of it. If I'm lucky enough to find a photo. If I can't find a photo, I know there's a photo of him like that, but if I can't find one... I cannot find the super photo. I think there's the those for the robot mode. Okay, look like I have to go back up there. Okay, T Rex Megatron. Of course, his beast mode is a T Rex. Duh. But his t but the beast mode of this one. Is oh my God, this is a badass one. Mm. Compared to the masterpiece version of it, yeah, I think the masterpiece version is much better than this one. I think, um, I don't know, the only major complaint about this, well, you can see the robot kibble right there on the, on the side of the legs right there, it's right showing. But the look of this figure, it looks pretty good. I, I like what they did to sculpting on the T-Rex head, but I wish the eyes were painted to give, like, have pupil on it. I know, I know why they have it like that. So, yeah. Looking over the robot mode on, on Megatron, this is a pretty good one. One of the issues of Megatron is he doesn't have any hands. He doesn't. It, it causes no no real hand syndrome. It's it's when a figure doesn't have any hands, and yeah, that's kind of disappointing on this. But just with the painting, the sculpting, and detail on Megatron, it looks pretty good. But my other major complaint about this is going to be difficult custom painting Megatron. I don't know where the paint's going to be going there, but the head sculpt of this guy it looks pretty good. But other issue with this this whole backpack cable right there will be probably the other issue as well even by articulation as well looking over closely on his robot mode this is a pretty good but like i said the backpack cable can get in the way and here it is more close on his um on the weapon that he have i think that's look like a hand right there i mean not sure but damn this is a pretty good one nice sculpting nice painting and detail of this guy this is a pretty good figure but like i said the kibble will be getting away. Now, after now, I'm almost done showing you guys. Now, I want to take a look at another thing as well. Here is what it looks like. So, I think there's gonna be like a you know a um, character card. So, I think they're bringing back the cards as well. So, I think the only way gonna do that. I think the only way to, to, to gonna do like this. I think you have to peel this off or something. I have no idea. But you can see the golden disc, of course. What else? Taking a look at the packaging, what, the, what it's going to be look like. Here it is for the core class combiner, WFC K2, Rat Trap. Here it is, Cheetor up there. Doesn't say which um, WFC K for this one. But here it is, one of the packaging will be look like. Oh my god, this is pretty good. So I think this is saying Deluxe and Cybertron, and this one is saying Core, and this one saying Voyager class. I mean, not sure, but if you guys do know, like, if you guys can translate this, please let me know. I think the packaging will gonna be more the, gonna be the coolest one ever. I think I'm thinking, I'm not gonna throw away the packaging. I'm gonna gonna keep it right there. What else? I know there's the same photo right there. Yeah, it's the same thing. You know, you can see the nice artwork of it. And also, I think we could have another another class right there. But you can see more characters right there. See Rat Trap Optimus. I think we're gonna. I don't know. We're gonna have Ultra Magnus. Watchman here is back in action. Here we have Galvatron and wait, is it is that Porkaw? Oh my God, it is Porkaw. Oh, look, like we're gonna have a, a skeletal um alligator or crocodile. I have no idea, but yeah, I, I hope we can have like some. I think I think that's I think that's yeah, that's um. 
Rhinox up there. And also, of course, the what this going to be look like. This is going to be cool. So I think we're going to also going to have Tigertron as well. And I think Scorponok and Dinobot. So yeah. Alright, I'm going to end it right here with on this photo set. But leave the, comment, leave the comment down below what you guys thinking about the Kingdom figures. And what figures do you want to get? To me, I want to get the, the skeletal looking uh, Predacons. Even Imperial tracks because the... Because this one is a weaponizer, and plus, this is gonna be the most coolest series ever. Siege was okay, Earth Earthrise is awesome, is some um, I like it, but Kingdom's gonna be the most badass series ever. Hopefully, we could get Unicron and the War for Cybertron trilogy soon, and hopefully, the cartoon for the Netflix, uh, a Netflix will be for Earthrise will be coming soon. I'm just very excited to have this looking at this. Now, I'm going to end this right here, you guys, but if you guys want to see the last um, War for Cybertron video I did, go ahead and check it out. Or if you want to see a full playlist of it, go ahead and check it out as well. But if you guys want to follow me, every social media I have, link in the description down below. Or you don't care, because you guys are a bunch of dicks, and I hate, so and I hate all of you guys, because you guys give me a bunch of dislike. So, right now I'm giving you the middle finger. I know you cannot see it, but I'm giving you the middle finger on the microphone. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys, I'll tell you next time, stay safe, and I'm out.